Hi, uh, Jeff. Okay, so, so I'm happy to introduce today's speaker, uh, Shuhei Oyama. He's talk on generalized uh, service forms and the matrix product state. Okay, thank you for the introduction and giving me the opportunity to present my recent research. And this talk is based on the joint work with Ken Shiozaki and Mr. Sato in preparation. And today I would like to explain an um, algebraic approach to investigate the quantum, quantum phase of matters. So, the first, let me explain about the motivation and motivation and um, background. Space of short range and time state. So red M B plus one B B plus one dimensional short range and time state. This is a space of sh short range and time state. And so it looks like this. Um, in, in general, this has um, um, several connected component and and each of them has a trivial topology, like this. And for example, the, the, the connected component of this space is so-called the symmetric protective approach to phases. So-called SPD phase, 
and this is very interesting um, class of topological space. And also the fundamental group, fundamental group of these spaces, um, so-called generalized power response. Some, some kind of pumping phenomena in quantum system, and this is also a very important physical phenomenon. And today, um, unfortunately, there are no time to explain why, um, for example, the pi one of this space corresponds to some pumping phenomena. But um, actually, there is some an interesting talk by uh, Kitaya. Um, I'll share the, the note of this in, in, in my talk. Uh, my talk. So, I will share the link now. PDF or I scare. Sorry. Um, uh, I will share my notes some, some, in some way, but um, there is some um, interesting talk by Kitaipa at Simon Center. And so, <coughs> and anyway, so anyway, the topology of this space is very important in physics, and it is of course difficult to handle these spaces directly. But for example, the free Fermi case, for example, so-called free. Thermionic system, the topology of this space is very understood. So, red and B plus 1 FF be the D plus 1 dimensional short relation tangent state, uh, which is realized. realized as a ground state, ground state of free thermionic Hamiltonian, free thermionic Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian, In this special case, the MD plus one FF is not equivalent to the K or K spectrum. So the classification of this kind of short range entangled state is uh, is classified by the K theory or K the K O theory. But on the other hand, the on the other hand, so interrupting case M G plus one interrupting thermionic system. So this is defined by uh, and D plus one interacting thermionic case, um, D plus one dimensional the tumble the state, which is realized as a ground state of interacting Hamiltonian. Interacting thermionic Hamiltonian. Is uh, not well understood. So <coughs> But remember that in the relativistic field theory, relativistic field theory, and there is an isomorphism between invertible field theory and spin structure. I can be this is not invisible, so spin structure. D plus one dimensional invertible field theory with spin structure is classified by so called the variant of spin voltage um, degree D plus two. Okay. So this is so called the Anderson dual of spin voltage. And left hand side, invertible field theory is a um, field theoretic object which is um, which corresponds to the interacting dynamic 
short range entanglement state in, in theory, and is classified by the Anderson dual spectrum of the Anderson dual so dual of spin volume. And today, I, I will not explain what, what is the Anderson dual of spin voltism, but, um, <coughs> but the classification of short range and angular state so without relativistic symmetry is well matched to the classification by using this Anderson dual of spin voltism. So many people believe that the short range and angular state of interacting, of interacting Hamiltonian is also classified by that. Anderson dual spin voltage. But there is no evidence or proof of them of it. So my big motivation is um, to know <coughs> and so the, my big motivation is to know the topology of this space. But although it's difficult to handle this space in, in, in general setup, so so we focus on in this arc. The purpose of this talk is arc is to study the topology, especially the loop, loop or fundamental loop of um, one plus one conventional interacting dynamic system. So in this talk, I, I will handle the one plus one dimensional system. And this is corresponding to some pumping phenomena, correspond to, to some pump. So the title is generalized for this pump. And th this is the motivation and introduction of, 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 my, of my talk. Okay. And so the less of um, the prime for the less of my power is so this is the motivation. And section one, I have right to explain matrix product state, product state, product state, no space, state. And section two, the fermionic version, fermionic, fermionic matrix product state, other than of MPS. And I already use the fundamental theorem, fundamental mental theorem for fermionic matrix product state. And Section 4, I will find the protocol invariant, invariant or protocol invariant of a uh, form. This is my brand of this talk. So, first, let me explain the matrix product state. Yes, especially for bosonic case. And very naively, matrix product state is naively matrix product state is a map from n times n matrices to some <coughs> A one plus one dimensional quantum state, one plus one dimensional and quantum state. And this is an element of a certain Hilbert space. So this is a construction. Construction. And first, let H be a one vertical. Hilbert space. This is a so called one vertical Hilbert space outside J. 
And so the matrix product state is a one dimension one plus one dimensional um, quantum state. So here's a size j, and here's a size j plus one, and j minus one, and here's h. So called from one master called Hilbert space. And in general, we can put a different Hilbert space on each side, but today I, I will not take that case into consideration. So J is every Hilbert space is the same. And red eye, I can't be I, I go one to um, one from one to N, capital N. Be the old normal basis of this assumption. This one vertical Hilbert space. So this the dimension of this Hilbert space is capital M. And the total Hilbert space is tensor product over this one vertical Hilbert space. And today uh, I will consider the periodic system, um, the size is L, so here's 1, 2, and the size is L, and L plus 1 is identified with side 1, so J run from 1 to L. And this is a total Hilbert space. Hilbert space. Okay. And this is a setup. And then, so given the matrices AI of the data, this is the N times N matrices. And the level I runs from 1 to uh, N, capital N. This is the same level as the one of the old normal basis, the level of those normal basis, and this is a very important point, this is in Ravel. And algebraic yeah, beta is the matrices, the legs of matrices, and turn from 1 to small n, because this is n times n matrices. And for given the, this n times n matrices, a metric product state is defined by, so, The old normal basis of this total Hilbert space is um, at this form I1 tensor I2 tensor proper IL. So, and the coefficient of this, we define the coefficient of this state as a product of AI1 to AIL. This is the same configuration of I1 to IL. And but this is n times n matrices. So take a trace of this n times n matrix, and this is a complex number. And this is a coefficient of this base, base I1 to IL. And some overall configuration of Y case. And this is the definition of matrix total state. This is the I the definition of matrix product state. Okay. And this is the element of the total Hilbert space H. And uh, so, so th this is a construction of matrix product state. And <coughs> so here's an example. Example is. For example, very, very trivial example is A up, this is this is up, and A down equals to zero one. So the one particle of the space is spanned by A up and down. This is the basis of one particle of the space. And so the, the matrix product state corresponds to this matrices given by this matrices is very very um, simple the sum of all up state and all down state. 
since the product of a up and a, up, a down is just zero, so the, the configuration which is included in this state is just all wrong state and all wrong configuration. Right. And actually, this is, of course, this is the ground state of Ising model, so called Ising model. So I call this matrices Ising model. This is a ground state of Ising model. Ising model has a degenerated ground state all up and all down. So this is a very um, trivial um, example, but um, also this is a little bit more non-trivial example. For example, so a up is one one zero zero, and a down is zero zero minus one one. Okay. I, I can't uh, write down this matrix product state given by these matrices, but um, <coughs> but it is known that the corresponding matrix product state is the ground state of so-called cluster model. Cluster, cluster model. So, so the matrix product state is a ground state of cluster model. One plus one dimensional. Plus one plus one dimensional. Cross the model. So this is the definition of matrix product state in um, some example, but um, so what what is the relation? What is a relation? A relationship between the matrix product state and short range and long range state. And there is a very, um, very interesting theorem about this relation. And geez, um, <coughs> so the AI get for for matrix product state is um, a matrix product state is short range of bundle state. And only if the algebra generated by AIs, some by AIs, is so called the central simple algebra, central simple algebra, is central simple algebra. Okay? And here, the central simplicity is. Um, uh, must be more. And here, a central simple algebra is um, the first the centrality. Um, more. The algebra A, um, C algebra, is central simple if an R E if this is a definition. Um, <coughs> If an R if um, the in general there there is a non-trivial ideal, but non-trivial ideal, but the centrality of the simplicity is there is not non-trivial ideal in algebra A, and centrality is. The center of this algebra, this is defined by an element of A, such, which is commute with every, every element of A. This is the, the definition of center of this algebra. And in general, the center includes the um, unit times um, Scott Scalar C. In general, the, the center of this algebra, the algebra includes the one times some scalar, but the centrality is this is isomorphic to one times scalar. So the central simple algebra is a simple and central algebra. This is the definition. But, but 
But today I will not use this definition expressly, so if you are not familiar with these notions, then please ignore this. An important point is, by using metrics product state, the short range and tangle state can be characterized by the semi prime condition, central simplicity. So this is a very clear view about the matrix product state and its relationship between the two the short range and tangle state. Now I want to generalize this um, method to thermionic system. So next section is thermionic matrix product state. And Vermeer matrix product state, um, roughly speaking, roughly speaking, Vermeer matrix product state is obtained by um, putting a Z mod to grading. Z mod to putting the Z mod to grading on um, in index of the matrices, index of A I R filter. Uh, this is not, uh, not not a rigorous, but but roughly speaking, it is obtained by putting Z mod so called Z mod to grading. On so, the definition of permanent matrix product state is that actually this is not a rigorous definition. So, if you are interested in the permanent matrix product state or its definition, please see the um, and the Pinkowski. Product state is first put a Z mod to grading on these matrices. So, for example, the grading even matrix, this is a grading of index i, is just a zero. In this case, the matrix takes a form the di broad diagonal matrix. The, the matrix is broad diagonal like this. So, in the Vermeulic matrix product state, we have to consider the even times even matrix. And bi and ci is n times n matrix. This is the even case. And also, the odd case, the grading of i is just 1, then the matrix B uh, is the block of diagonal. Here to zero. So this is a Z mod to grading. And also to define the Fermionic matrix product state, we have to introduce so called the boundary plate. So insert our boundary player. to define the Fermionic matrix product state. So FMPS is defined by uh, matrices AI and boundary later omega. And the definition is the trace of here inserted and boundary later omega and AI1 and AIL times I1 tensor, I1 tensor. Here inserted 
and under the lady woman. So this is a lab definition of the metrics pro state. Again, actually to deal to handle the to handle the Linux system and we have to implement the so-called thermion parity. So for, for, for that purpose, um, the amount of grading or boundary player is introduced. So yes, the detail is here, the cost in protein get all. And here I give you an example of thermionic matrix product state, thermionic matrix product state, and to red A0 would be the identity matrix, and the red A1 would be the 1 minus 1 diagonal matrix. And Z mode 2 grading is with, with, with grading I, AI, grading the grade degree of sorry, so AI so the grading, this, this is even and this is off grade. Yeah, and omega be the uh, diagonal one minus one. This is an example of thermodynamic matrix for the state. And although I can't explicitly write down this matrix matrix product state given by this matrices, but I can explain why. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot to explain about the bound, the condition for boundary later. So, so we. Where um, omega satisfies for um, the, the omega satisfies for premium parity even system parity even case case omega is um, even operator even operator. This means the omega is broad diagonal. So enter is here and here, and other is zero. And omega satisfies some um, Z multigraded um, commutative relation with AIs. This is a fermion parity even case. And the fermion parity odd case, odd case. Then omega is some odd operator, and omega plus omega community is AI, every AI matrix AI. So this is some condition for on on the on the boundary layers. And and here is an example. So this is the same as I said, 1 minus 1. And under the degrees, 1 minus 1. Okay. And I can't ex explicitly write down the matrix process A given by this matrices, but I can write, I can explain why the fermion parity of the matrix product state is. For example, odd by taking the boundary blader odd. So uh, uh, in, in this example, boundary blader is odd. So I I I, I will explain why taking boundary blader odd corresponds to the Fermi parity odd state. This, this is very easy. So the matrix product state is defined by this form. In this example, the boundary blader has an odd degree, odd, odd grading, and if the product of a i to a i l has an um, even degree, it, it, that means the summation of i k degree of i k in the case of one to l is if if this is one, uh, this is zero, the grading is odd. Uh, it, it, the grading is even, then the total degree of this, the omega times AI from AI to AI 
L has a total degree odd because odd times even is has an odd degree. And of course, um, the trace of odd operator of diagonal matrix is just zero, so this configuration vanishes. Right? So all configuration which is included in this operator uh, in this state is um, is um, total degree one. And this is nothing but the Fermion parity out of state, out of state. So take so this is why the Fermion parity of matrix product state correspond to the degree or grading of boundary layers. Okay. And actually, it is known that the this matrix product state correspond to the kita F chain, so called the kita F chain, kita F chain. In non trivial phase. Non trivial phase. Yes. So this is the KTF chain model of matrix product state. And there is also a very interesting theorem about the relationship between the short range and tangible state and thermionic matrix product state. So, red AI, omega, the a matrix product state, and so this is a fermionic short range and angular state, SR state, and if an R if, if an R if, the algebra generated by AI and by AI. This algebra is a Z-mod to graded, graded central symbol algebra. This is a generalization of the theorem I explained in the previous section. And in addition... Uh, excuse me, excuse yes, me. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, do you assume uh, omega to be in invertible or something? Yes, uh, actually the square of omega is just proportional to 1. Ah, uh, but uh, I, I don't see the this. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. for example, you take omega to be 0 in this, uh, this con con condition is sat satisfied, yes? Yes, uh, so... Yes, ah, uh, yes, I see. Yes, so, but uh, maybe uh, 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 in the first uh, condition, uh, so no, 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 in the even case, maybe omega AI equals the uh, uh, sign to uh, AI omega, uh -huh. right? Uh, do you need omega in the right hand side? Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Thank you. And so, yes, mm, I think invertibility is. Uh, because uh, in the theorem, uh, the uh, right hand side, uh, the first uh, statement uh, uh, refers to omega, yes. but the second statement does not refer to. Uh, Omega. Yeah, yes, but, but, but in addition, in addition oh. um, actually, this, this is explanation for those who are familiar with centroid simple algebra, but the A is so called the Prasa algebra or the even algebra. So this is corresponding to the Fermat parity um, of uh, Fermat parity even state and and so in this case, the, this algebra is um, is central simple as a gradient algebra. So the center of this even part of this algebra is spanned by one and omega. So here is the omega dependence, right hand side. Okay, and I, I think. 
Yes, I, I have to impose the, the invertibility of omega, I, I think. Mm. So this omega is invertible. Yes, of course. Um, I'm not sure the meaning of uh, odd and the uh, even operator here. Uh, if the odd means the symmetry, something like that. Symmetry. Yes, the the grading. So. Um, yes, it, it can be regarded as a sense symmetry pro. Or is grading greater than a is odd is even. So we can define right now. This point is a i, and all the case is minus b a i for suitable grading operator. So I think. It can be regarded as some symmetry. Uh, oh, okay, okay. And th th this is a uh, premium parity even case, and also, um, and here the process the, the work more invariant. More invariant. invariant. And so A is minus algebra. This is correspond to the fermion variety of the case. Correspond to the other case, or the state. And in this case, the algebra is, is um, not central, central as a graded algebra. So the, here, the center of this algebra in general is non-trivial. This is found by omega. So if you're not um, familiar with the fermion parity or fermion parity of the state, you can regard it as uh, some invariant invariant of the algebra, central simple algebra. So this is a generalization of the relations between SRE and the Okay. And actually the the algebra generated by in this in this example, the algebra is generated by this matrix says R Z to graded central simple algebra. And this this is a old case, old minus algebra. And it is also known that the Kitta chain is an example of Fermi short range entangled state or entangled entanglements entangled state. So this is consistent with this theory. Okay. This, this is the preparation for um, of my of my talk. And are there any question or comment? Okay. If not. Um, section uh, section three and fundamental theorem mental theorem for a fermionic matrix fermionic matrix for the state. And I will I will call this kind of um, um, matrix product state, uh, I will call this kind of met 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 matrix product state central central simple, is it central simple FNBS or fermented matrix product? 
equivalent state. Okay. And so, so by using the theorem, um, so the space of the space of um, Fermionic short range and tangled state is already states seems to be seems to coincide with coincide with the, the space of so this central simple central simple Fermionic matrix product state over Z multi gradient central simple shepherd. But but in general unfortunately there is this uh, um, redundancy the matrix product state representation has and redundancy, redundancy in general. For example, the, the redefinition of AI to some invertible scale of lambda, uh, uh, this this redefinition would not does not change the matrix product state state. So, and for at least for bosonic matrix product state. Here is a theorem for bosonic matrix product state, BMPS, bosonic matrix product state. There is a, a well known theorem about this redundancy. So, written string, probably. So, let AI. And then I think that the uh, central simple matrix, central simple um, matrices, this means the algebra generated by these matrices are central simple algebra. And then, so the two state then, The matrix product state given by these matrices are the same if and only if there exists um, uh, there exists a unitary matrix U, unitary matrix U, and some U on phase factors, uh, or more precisely. Invertible, invertible complex number Z, and the I tilde is Z times U times AI times U dollar unitary transformation and scale of multiplication. So, for bosonic case, uh, the redundancy is identified exactly, but for for Bermudic case, for Bermudic case, Bermudic um, matrix product state, there is not a Bermudian theorem correspond to this this um, theorem. Uh, th this is called the fundamental theorem, fundamental theorem for bosonic matrix product state, but. Well, no, the, the there is not a uh, very long theorem for Fermi matrix products. So, to be proved that the fundamental theorem for Fermi matrix product state in our paper, and the result is almost the same as the Poisson case, and so red AI and red AI tilde with the central symbol Z mod to Z mod to central symbol algebra, central symbol matrices. Z mod to graded one, and here is the boundary of later omega and the field of this. And then two states are the same, 
in fact, our aim there is just some unitary U and invertible, invertible complex number Z, and there it satisfies this limitation. And boundary ability is also Z times U times A I of U times U times U omega whatever it is. But, but the only one boundary ability is included in the Fermi matrix proto state. I'm just serious. But the only one boundary validator is included in the Fermi matrix proto state. So we can freely normalize this boundary validator. So we can put here the, the another additional um, invertible complex number, Z prime. So Z prime. This is the fundamental theorem for Fermi matrix proto state. Okay. So by using the theorem, the strategy is very straightforward. So the strategy is so to investigate the topology of the matrix for the uh, short range and tangled state. First, we consider the yeah, two n times two n central simple. Organic matrix called state matrices, for example, right like this. And we, we denote this M, M tilde. And, but this includes some redundancy, so divided by redundancy. And then it, it is expected that. We can obtain the one plus one dimensional organic matrix proto state. But actually, this is not exact M1 plus 1, this is an approximation. Mission of the one plus one dimensional um, um, space of the uh, approximation of M1 plus 1. This is the space of matrix. Um, this is a space of one first one dimensional interacting Fermionic short range in time to state. Okay. But divided by, by, by okay. Okay. Actually, at least for bosonic matrix product state, for every short range in time to state are represented by a matrix product state for enough Rauch version of M, matrix size M. So, uh, the same thing is expected for Germanic matrix product state. So, so Germanic uh, so, so we denote this one. We denote this in one plus one M. So Germanic matrix product state gave a filtration of M one plus one. That is, so this is the first. Approximation of the number one, and of course two by two. Uh, uh, this is two by two matrices, and of course two by two matrices is included in four by four matrices. So this is included in M two, M, and so on. And here's an infinity, and maybe this is um, for this type of exact M one plus one. Uh, at, at least this is included in, in this case, but. I think we um, in the inverted in this space. An important point is we cannot handle this space directory, but we can we can we can handle we can we can handle these spaces directly. So this is a um, um, uh, strategy of our, tip, our paper or this talk. And actually, um, I have no time to explain the detailed computation, but for example, M1 plus 1, and so this space, the first approximation, 1 plus 1, one, this is a two by two matrices, is included. Uh, 
this this space includes um, R P J M minus one and for Rosh capital N. And here N is um, N is a Fraber number determined Fraber determined Fraber number. But anyway, this space we can check that this space includes the RP infinity. This this is RP infinity. So <coughs> and of course it is known that the fundamental root of uh, sorry sorry um, one plus one d one the non-trivial component or sorry I forget the spring. And non-trivial phase, non-trivial phase. This means and in our in our setup, so um, the in, in this situation, one plus one dimensional Fermi system with no symmetry, the trivial phase and non-trivial phase are dis distinguished by uh, fermion parity. So the Prass algebra corresponds to the non uh, Prass algebra corresponds to Prasa algebra corresponds to uh, trivial phase and minus algebra minus algebra corresponds to the non minus algebra corresponds to the non-trivial phase space. Uh, this is same as the fermion parity even state is trivial state, a trivial phase. And fermion parity all the state included in the non-trivial phase. And we can check that the M1 plus 1, 1 of the non-trivial non-trivial component, non-trivial phase of this space includes the uh, RP infinity in here. And actually, of course, it is known that the RP infinity I1 of this space is Z mod two. So this suggests that, that this suggests the existence of non-trivial non-trivial root in non-trivial phase, or non-trivial pump in non-trivial phase. This suggests that. And in addition, we can check that. We can also check that. Also check that the loop of theta chain. A roof of theta f chain, and this, which is which is known as a non-trivial as a non-trivial non-trivial um, non-trivial pump pump non-trivial pump a non-trivial non form, at least um, pre-permian energies, pre in case. So th this is um, candidate candidate for the non-trivial form, form non-trivial form model, and we can check that this loop gives the this loop loop of theta chain is a non-trivial loop. In this RP infinity. So this is also suggests that there exists a non-trivial pump phenomenon in non-trivial case. So, so here is a M1 plus 1, and this is for example a trivial component, a fermion parity even component, and then one plus one non-trivial component. And there is some there is a RP infinity here, and this space has a non-trivial root right here. From one. And and we can also check that the Kitaf chain, the root of so-called the loop of Kitaf chain, gives a non-trivial non-trivial loop in at least. 
in this space. So this, this suggests the existence of a form or root in the trivial space. But, but of course, there is a, there is, there remains the possibility. But, but there remains a possibility that by rifting this path to the whole M one plus one non trivial phase, so this loop um, can be it is, it is, this loop can be trivialized. So by rifting lifting this loop to four M and one plus one non trivial phase then it is possible, it can be made trivial in, in whole space. So to avoid or to eliminate this possibility, I, I want to define, so I want to, 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 to avoid, to avoid this possibility, So I want to well, I want to define define that topological invariant topological invariant for invariant of invariant of a form So uh, th this is a strategy, but so, so I want to define the Borosko invariant of pump or this this kind of group in M one plus one. So uh, this, this is section uh, four, five, three, four. Uh, I forget the numbering, but. Anyway, the definition of and in our paper, um, we, we define the in, the Toporosko invariant for pump in trivial phase and non-trivial phase, so the trivial phase and non-trivial phase. But there are no time to explain both of them. So today, I would like to explain the Toporosko invariant on pump in non-trivial phase. And so for given the loop of the matrices AI and boundary beta omega theta and I want we want I I want to define the Toporosko invariant. So first I I give you the, the general construction or definition construction the definition and so first this is a general way to define the Toporosko invariant. And first if necessary. Um, in, in general, uh, if necessary, forming or form a unitary transformation, transformation, and you want phase multiplication, and and the AI tilde up is, for example, AI. in general, the matrix, the matrices itself is not to periodic in general. So, by performing unitary transformation, sorry, unitary transformation to the matrices like this, 
and is this is there the matrices are two by zero. This means the AI tilde at theta equals two pi is the same at theta equal zero as a matrix, as a matrices. And boundary of layer is also transform by this way. And here is also we can put the additional additional phase factor phi prime we can freely normalize phase boundary player. Okay. And um, and also the boundary player is also the buffer. Features of this nature transformation and you want you want factor. You on variation. And the second step is um, in general, that this is not an, um, explained, explained in, in this talk, but in general, the boundary of labor, the square of boundary of labor is pro proportional to the identity matrices, a matrix. So since So since the square of under greater proportional to one, we can define the topological invariant for um, the trace of these operators. This is a U1 body. So we can define the binding number of this U1 body function, and this is a very next body in, in, in the integrity. Because, uh, sorry, this is uh, this this m x value in integer z because omega tilde is the property of okay, but 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 omega tilde is omega tilde theta is defined up to up to multiplication of two pi. Periodic, uh, periodic function. For example, um, we can redefine really omega tilde theta to omega tilde theta times exponential i theta. And this lay definition does not break the two factor rotisity. So we, we can redefine really this way. So, but then. Uh, Redefinition shift n by n plus two n because there is a, there there is a square square so exponential i theta be the exponential to i i to 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 i theta so this gives the even integer. So, n is essentially x value in z mod 2z. Okay. This is the definition of our topological invariant of POM. So, let me compute the topological invariant of um, a root of theta chain. For example, the root of theta chain, the theta chain, is represented by matrix growth of state by a zero is one one. And this is your, this is the original. Um, this is a key, the matrix product state of kit x chain and the loop is defined by putting here some new one factor a one equal here exponential i zero plus two five zero plus two and this is a loop and here 
proceeded from 0 to, to 5, 0 here, here from, from 0 to 5. Okay. This is the loop, the definition of the loop of the Kitev chain, if you are not familiar with the Kitev chain. And so, and actually, this is not the periodic because um, at theory of 0 and theory of 2 pi, AI is different by just minus 1. So, performing the UM transformation, inter transformation, and in this case, we take u theta, u theta as 1 and exponential i theta over 2. And then, A0 is invariant in under this transformation, so A0 is just the same as original one, but A1 tilde is, I think, um, here's i theta and 1. So here is exponential i theta, so this is the 2 pi periodic, 2 pi periodic. And the boundary equator is by this inter transformation. This is not the periodic, but we can freely put the additional even factor in here. So if it's here it's going to be zero over two. So then the boundary later is same as the a to the one. Anyway, this is the first step of this definition. Okay. And then we can it, it is easy to compute to compute the topological invariant found in here. And is a winding number of trace of this boundary of later square. And in this case, the trace of square the boundary of later is just exponential i theta. So the winding number of, it, of this is just one. Means a mod, okay. So this is consistent with uh, previous study because um, because this is um, uh, so 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 this gives the non-trivial form or non-trivial form of permanent parity. Okay. And so th this is a definition and example of our topological invariant and and as an historic four, five, and uh, our discussion or mm, so I have a comment on the geometric interpretation. And I want to I would like to explain the relation uh, relation or mathematical uh, mathematical um, ge geometric interpretation. And because because I think there there is there there are physicists and mathematicians, I, I, I think. And so uh, geometric interpretation as uh, sorry as a twist of the theory. But I'm not familiar with this, this notion twist of the theory, but um, about two weeks ago, um, Yamasa-san told me about the duration set between the, this kind of zemo-figurated central in algebra and twist of the theory. So, and actually, the, Novan and Karofi um, showed that in in in, 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 in they they considered the um the most integrated central simple algebra sorry, central simple algebra bundle central simple algebra it's Algebra bundle, okay, K, algebra, K, K is here field, um, sorry, um, central simple algebra. Uh, so, so, so here is C. C algebra over some suitable space X. 
and isomorphism cross of so I, 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 I cross of this as intrusive for shape of bundle bundle over X. So does this means the typical fiber of this bundle is G mod to graded central symbolship of bundle. And they show that in C algebra case, in the case of C algebra, this is isomorphic, this is classified by the triple of the um, cohomology, zero direct G mod two cross case one S G mod two and cross is three of x, but but this is a portion of portion for all the three of x. So the portion for all. And for there is a map from this right hand left hand side. So here is a map bundle over X. And to the triple, um, the first component is boring learning type of the typical fiber. Typical fiber. So if A is a G mod to graded to central simple algebra and it's more invariant minus of uh, plus, so even algebra, this is a plus, and all algebra, this is minus. And second and third one is so called that characteristic class of characteristic class of this uh, symmetric graded central central simple sugar bundle. And uh, in fact we can check that the our uh, in our uh, in this in this case in our setup uh, this is correspond to the uh, X equal X1 case because our central simple algebra is parameterized by S1, and S1 is a one-dimensional circle. And in this case, at least in this case, um, the this U1 A over S1 over S1 is essentially the same as the our topological invariant. So um, ge geometric interpretation of we can regard our Proshko invariant as uh, some kind of characteristic class of this Zimov to graded central algebra bundle. And also, um, um, and also, the Nobel and Karobi show that the, this object, this object, Zimov to graded central simple algebra over, over some space X, is Give, give, give a twist of K theory of X, K theory of X. So you can regard this, um, the family of uh, central simple algebra or short range and language matrix for state or as um, twist of K theory, some kind of twist of K theory. So this is um, very, um, this is a um, geometric interpretation. And by the way, um, by the way, my question is: um, Is it orbism And this is a um, question, and and in fact, if you are familiar with. The H A H S S by using so called Athio spectral sequence.
seems to be the seems to be the interface of seems to be to coincide coincide with interface of f t plus q of two. This means so the interface of is defined by a bit coefficient is in is the Anderson dual of spin voltage. So in this case, <coughs> the spin Q point, and this is converting to the Anderson dual spectra, voltage of P plus QX. And actually, the point of the Anderson dual of spin voltage is. No, G, zero, here is Z, Z, zero, Z one two, Z one two, and this is Q for zero, and Q for one, and Q for two, and Q for three, and so the work is on this. Here is H1 over H over H2 minus 2, and here is 0, and here is A3 over H with coefficient Z. So this is a sub, at least a sub a subset of this. Uh, this. This is a subset of the Anderson dual voltage of um, um, Anderson dual of spin voltage. So if, if if this relation between the this twist of K theory or the historical or um, cohomology and this the Anderson dual spectrum uh, the, the Anderson dual of spin voltism, then this is some some direct um, relations. This suggests that the direct relationship between the short range and time of the state and the Anderson dual of the spin volt. And actually there is very similar relationship between twist of K theory and the short range and time of the state that uh, Anderson dual of spin voltism by uh, Recent paper, they proved that the the real case, so, so this is this real case. So Z one to graded central simple algebra bundle, central simple R algebra bundle over horizontal space X. Suitable relation, and this is. Isomorphic to the Anderson dual of P minus Paulson at degree 3. And actually, the light left hand side is uh, in the matrix product state context, the left hand side is the one per one dimensional short range and angle state with um, time reversal symmetry. Yeah, so this is um, expected to classify by the yeah, Anderson dual P minus voltage. So this is very um, consistent with the classification. So, so anyway, so this is so this is all of my of my talk and. And I wrote the summary of the historic in the rock board behind this camera. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that is the summary of the historic. Okay? So thank you for your attention.
Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any question or comment? Uh, can, I, uh, can, can I say some stupid yeah. uh, comment? Uh, uh, maybe uh, my question was a uh, stupid one because uh, I think that in the case of uh, where uh, the AIDS uh, gen uh, generates the, uh, the simple graded central uh, algebra, yes. uh, then uh, we can show that uh, we uh, the omega uh, satisfying uh, the uh, co conditions uh, you wrote uh, should be zero or above. We I think we can show that. Yes. Uh, so uh, that uh, so I just wanted to say that uh, we didn't uh, assume that uh, we we didn't know the need to. Uh, assume that omega is invertible uh, by this. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, if uh, omega was, uh, is not zero, then it would be oh, automatically oh, okay. uh, uh, invertible. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, can I ask some question? Yes, please. Uh, in the classification of Donovan and Karobi yes. about the uh, degraded central graded simple uh, family of uh, central graded simple algebra, uh, they divide by non uh, trivi uh, negligible algebras, uh, negligible bundles. Yes. Uh, and uh, do you? Uh, do you have some inter physical inter interpretation of such negligible uh, uh, bundles? Uh, um, in such uh, such a uh, uh, so such a loop corresponding to uh, loop or family corresponding to negligible uh, algebra should be regarded as uh, also regarded as uh, negligible in physical meaning. Um, I'm not sure, but is it a tensor product with, with some met metric algebra? Or metric? Uh, uh, the definition is that uh, the, uh, if there is a vector one class, uh, integrated vector bundle over the uh, parameter, uh, parameter space, yes. then uh, we can form the endomorphism of the uh, bundle, which uh, gives a uh, uh, and which is equipped with the canonical structure of the integrated uh, central simple algebra. Yes. Then uh, such a family of algebra can, uh, is regarded as negligible in that, in that classification. Mm, I see. Sorry, I, I, I don't have this called interpretation about it, so, so I'm not sure. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, do you have any other question or comment? Can I make a yeah. small comment? Sure. Um, so, you mentioned this a question about okay, can the fermionic matrix product state give an approximation to um, the general uh, gapped ground states? So, if you're happy to take the definition of gapped ground state, in infinite, I mean, thermodynamic limit using the sort of operator algebraic definition, then uh, there's actually a result by uh, Bach Sensei and myself where we show that if you have a fermionic gapped, unique gapped ground state with translation invariance, uh, and also it, um, there's one extra condition about the, uh, uh, the density matrix. But if you assume this, then we can show that this has an approximation, uh, that, that you can always approximate these states. 
uh, in February, I think, Matrix brought up states. Um, just, just so you know. Oh, oh I will lose it. I haven't done it yet. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any other comment, question? It's not correct. I'm going to be coming. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. So, yeah, we'll see you later. The next seminar will be on December 17th. Okay, so see you.